What's going on guys? It is Gun Skinny here with another fabulous knife review. Today we're going to be looking at the Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops 3. Uh, model number would be SWEX3 if you want to check that out. Uh, I recently picked up this knife uh, about a, maybe like a week or so ago. Just a little background information on Smith & Wesson knives. They're actually made and imported by Taylor Brands. Um, Taylor Brands also imports Schrade, uh, makes and imports Schrade knives. Uh, just, there's a little info for you. Um, moving on to the review. First we're going to start off talking about the handle of this knife. Um, now the handle on this knife is made out of anodized aluminum, which adds a little bit more weight to the knife. Um, it's kind of got this little tactical look on it as far as the uh, handle design. It has nice grooves in here for uh, gripping. It has the Smith & Wesson logo on the side of the knife. On the inside, uh, it has a... I believe it's stainless steel liner on the inside. Um, also has the spine of the knife is open. We know how I like that for easy cleaning. Um, moving on to the blade of the knife. It is a drop point. Um, no serrations. The belly is nice and smooth. Uh, it has this black finish on it, which I'm not really a big fan of just because it's not that great of a finish. Um, you can, this camera is not going to pick it up, but uh, it has like it chips easily, so it leaves like these little marks on it. And for me, I'm just not not digging it. But some people, you know, I guess it's just for that tactical look of the whole knife. Um, on the blade, it also has the Smith and Wesson logo right here, Extreme Ops. Um, has some nice jimping on the top. I went over this on my other video. The jimping is not that important to me. Just for me. I don't know about you. It could be, you know, important for you, for me. I mean, it's it's nice, but I don't really need it. Um, has the dual thumb studs for easy opening. It's not a flipper design. Um, by that, I mean it doesn't have the knob back here to flip it open like say let me get it real quick the one I just reviewed the buck vantage has a flipper design so it's that's how I like to open the knives um, once again that's just my opinion so it doesn't offer that it just has a dual thumb studs which is cool I mean it's still easy to open um, the blade quality I'm not really sure on. I, I, I'm, I believe it's 440 stainless steel. If you guys know and you can correct me on that or if I'm wrong, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, like I said, no serrations. Um, it's a non-assist. When I got this blade, or when I got this knife out of the box, the opening, the action, was very stiff <clears throat> so what I did is I took some ballastol that I got from Pete and uh, squirted some down into the uh, pivot point I don't know if you can see it's kinda shiny down there still because I recently did it and uh, now it's just smooth as can be I was afraid I was gonna I don't really like to mess with the with the pivot point on knives I don't think that you should have to but um I was afraid that I was going to have to loosen that up, which I, I didn't want to because so far there's been no blade play whatsoever on this knife, and I've opened it over hundreds of times and closed it. And also I've um, used it for opening boxes, and, you know, I mean, it's it's been getting used. and hasn't just been sitting in my pocket. So the blade play, I mean, there's absolutely none, so I, I'd like not to mess with this at all. I've noticed that before I've messed with the pivot points on knives, because I've, I, I've thought that it was too stiff on opening, and uh, it's totally screwed up everything, and it just kept getting loose on me. Um, so yeah, it's non-assist. Uh, the liner lock design 
it locks up nice and tight. It even has a little bit of jimping on the liner lock for easy grip on there. Um, the overall length of this knife is eight inches. The blade length, the blade length alone, is three and a half inches, um, which is perfect for EDC. Um, I actually do. I carry this knife every day. I carry it along with the Buck Vantage. This is my secondary. Buck is my uh, primary. Um, being in California, I, I don't have a CCW license, so I do carry two knives on me at all time. I'd like to carry more. I just uh, haven't got another one that I would consider, I would trust enough to, to carry. So, um, last thing I want to talk about is the clip on here. Um, you, you carry a tip up, which I'm not a big fan of. I like carrying tip down like on the buck. Um, it's also the clips it's kinda of crappy because it's non-reversible so if you're a lefty I mean you couldn't uh, you couldn't reverse it. You also can't reverse it to be carry tip down. Uh, I thought you could at first but now looking at the angles of these two nuts and this and you just can't do it. Um, it does carry deep in the pocket which is nice the clip on it is very stiff, so it's kind of hard to get in and out of your pocket, but um, that'll loosen up over time. Overall, I think it's great for the money. Like uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the uh, the price on this knife now, I would think I think it's like around twenty dollars, give or take a couple bucks. Um, so I mean, very reasonable if you have a budget. Um, which a lot of us do. So, I mean, it's a reason, reason, reasonably priced knife. Man, that's hard to say. And, um, yeah, so if, if you think you're thinking about getting another EDC knife, think about this one. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Be sure to go check out the website, gunskitty.com. Please subscribe, and uh, have a good Easter, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Be safe out there, guys. Take care.